much about recruitment, if I've been honest with you, when I started. Um, it, I'd never really encountered a recruitment consultant, but I had friends working in the industry. Um, I knew they were making a lot of money. I knew that they had good career potential. I knew that it was good fun, a vibrant atmosphere. So I started talking to a few different agencies and then S3 was the best. Now my role's progressed into more of a team lead position. So I'm still very much hands-on in that I look after my clients, I'm still kind of placing people into new jobs, but I also manage four consultants that are on their way up. When I got my first deal, um, I think I've been working with the business for about three months. So a lot of kind of output from myself, and you build a relationship with the client and the candidate, but it was a really, really good feeling because you're, not only are you getting somebody a new job, so they're really, really happy, um, you've proved to yourself and your team that you can, you can achieve on a target, you can deliver, you've essentially kind of you know, done the job and you know that you can kind of then replicate that again and again. The biggest challenges in this job are making sure that you come in every day and have structure, discipline and focus in everything that you do. Um, it's essentially not a very difficult job. Um, it's hard because you need to have a clear plan, make sure that you execute that well. Um, you have to be very self-motivated to manage yourself on targets. It's about having that discipline to carry out what is essentially quite a sem simple day plan to a high standard. The best parts of the job are definitely the interaction you have with your client base. So I've learned so much about business in general. Um, you don't realise until you spend time kind of at dinner parties or socialising that you actually know a lot about business. The reason I do it every day is obviously the results. So I enjoy my lifestyle. Um, I work hard, but I play hard. The good thing about S3 is there's no major prerequisites in terms of where you have to have been before you join. Um, we're generally looking for core competencies. So people that are hungry, driven, ambitious. We need people that can kind of you know, dust themselves off when things go, go badly um, and they'll come out the other side fighting. Yeah.